Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, the pink machine is out, so you probably already know that I'm doing a do-it-yourself today and I haven't done one in a while, so I'm pretty excited for this one. So I was kind of uninspired to do like a do-it-yourself for a while, but actually yesterday I was just scrolling on my Instagram on my explore page and I found this picture of this I think is probably like an influencer or something but I really loved when I saw this picture I really love the hoodie on top of the jumper sweater whatever is going on here I'm not sure if this is something that he bought maybe it's an item that's like designer or something but I couldn't find exactly where it's from or maybe it's just a cut off hoodie that is not attached to the knitwear at all and it's just put on top if that's the case it's super clever and you can use both pieces separately it's also something that you can do but it's probably too easy for it to do yourself you just need to cut a hoodie and place on top of whatever sweater you want or maybe it's a combined piece and that's where my brain just clicked and I was like maybe I can do like a combined piece with a hoodie slash sweatshirt and a neat jumper. So I have two old pieces here, one is a sweater and one is a knitwear. I'm gonna show you them and I'm going to try to combine them into an interesting style today. It's very experimental, this do-it-yourself. I'm not sure how it's going to go. It's pretty much like the patchwork top that I did on summer. Also started from scratch. I turned on the camera and I tried to sketch something and do a patchwork and probably today is going to happen the same. I'm just hoping that it goes as well as the top because I really love when I did the patchwork top and also some brands are actually stealing the idea and the design. I got some of you guys DMing me with links from AliExpress and Verge Girl and other brands that are selling exactly the same patchwork top that I created which is kind of crazy. I don't know if I'm flattered or if I'm just angry about that but either way I just need to accept that and I'm gonna try to do just as good as the job today but for winter which is a combined patchwork sweater slash knitwear let's go let's roll the intro all right so here's what we are going to need i'm going to show you what materials we will need for this do it yourself and also the pieces that i have as foundation as a base for this do it yourself the sweater and the knitwear I'm gonna show you, let's see what you need for this do it yourself. First thing you'll need is a neat jumper, and this can be like a turtleneck, like mine, or anything like a v neck. You can really be creative on this do it yourself, and there's no rules here. So, this is the one that I will be using. Then, you'll need a sweatshirt or a hoodie, and I got this one that has these letters here, which kind of reminds me of some vintage, like university hoodie or something um, it doesn't have like the hood is not a, a hoodie it's more like a sweatshirt so it's not very similar to the inspo pick that I saw but I think it's gonna work great as well but you can really be creative and choose whatever here and you need some scissors I like to have a big one for fabric and a small one for thread of course you need the thread in the colors that best match your pieces and then of course you need the sewing machine so you have everything that you need now and I'm gonna start this tutorial just by sketching something so I can have like an idea of how I want this combined sweater to be and I usually don't use this step if I'm copying something but when I want to try to do a do-it-yourself from scratch of like a brand new idea somehow this really helps so you can just copy mine if you want but for me that I'm doing this from scratch I really need some guidance so I'll sketch something really quickly now So here's my idea for this combined jumper thing. So this is like a vest here, a small piece, and it's going the same for the back. And here on half the sleeves, so if I combine the sleeves, it's going to be like much more wide and baggy, and that's the goal. Then all the other parts are the neat jumper. 
that's the spaces where I'm going to use it and I decided to use the turtleneck of the jumper as well so I'm going to place it here on the neck I'm ready to put this in action let's go all right so the first step is to actually start cutting our sweaters and I'm gonna start with this one which I'm going to cut here on the side and here on the shoulder as well I'm going to use all the length here on the side so I can have as oversized sweater as I can and you just cut it the sleeve and here it's already open on the side so that's exactly what we want I'm gonna do the same with the other side and here we have it, another sleeve out and this will be the base to our vest it's the, it's the part of the fabric that we are going to use and here one final step that I want to do is we have here this curve from the shoulder cut and here it's a straight line so I'm going to try to make this as straight as possible as you can see we have a straight line now and it's better because this will not have a sleeve, the sleeve will be on the knitwear, so we don't need that. And do the same here. Alright, so this part is done, we don't need to do anything else to this. To the grey sleeves, all we want to do is to cut this part where they have like the sewing and do the same with the other sleeve. So here we have the sleeves already open and this will work as a clean fabric for us, so I'm, so I'm gonna save this for when I'm working on the sleeves. All right, so now let's move on to the knee jumper. And here I'm going to start by cutting this part over here of the turtleneck. I'm going to cut it like one inch below where the turtleneck rib starts. And we are going to use this to sew into our sweatshirt. Here we have it. And now what I'm going to do is from this point here where we cut it, I'm going to cut all the way down. And I'm also going to cut here the sleeve and then open here the sleeve just like we did with the grey sweatshirt and it leaves us with this beautiful piece of fabric here and now let's do exactly the same to the other side alright so another beautiful piece of fabric that we are going to save for the sleeves now for the center part of the sweater we have everything cut it now so I'm going to start putting this together and trying to see how the final result is going to be this is the final result I'm really happy with it I haven't done the sleeves yet but so far so good I think it looks really good so before I jump into the sleeves I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and start sewing right, so I'm with my sewing machine now ready to start and I'm going to start bringing to the sewing machine this part of the turtleneck and here's something that I will do to every single piece that involves this neat jumper basically when you're working with knitwear what happens is that since it's knitwear, it's not like proper for sewing so usually it has a lot of fallout when you're cutting it and stuff it comes out it comes off a lot of thread and cotton and stuff so what I like to do before I start mixing it up and sewing it into the sweatshirt I will just fold it like the edges here and I will do like a zigzag sewing so I can prevent a lot of threads and cotton to fall off when I'm wearing the sweater Alright, so this is how the zigzag sewing looks. It's not pretty, not pretty at all, but at least it prevents from the fallout of the thread. As you can see, I'm just doing this and nothing is coming out, which is exactly my goal. So I'm not going to show you me doing this to every single part of the knee jumper, but please keep in mind that every time that I'm going to use a piece of fabric from the knee jumper, I'm gonna do this to the edges so there's no product fallout when I'm wearing the sweatshirt. But now moving on to the part that matters, I'm going to sew this into the sweatshirt. And for this part, I'm gonna use the regular stitching here, so the line stitching, not the zigzag one. Don't forget that here you have to put the entire turtleneck around the sewing machine, otherwise it's not going to sew all the way through. Okay, so this part is already sewed together. I really love how this looks already. 
really love this turtleneck here on the sweatshirt now what I'm going to do is this part here on the sides that's going to be on top of the neat jumper I'm going to fold it like this and do a straight sewing here just a line regular line sewing so i can have like a better finish here on the edges and it doesn't look like as rough as if it's just ripped like this so i'm gonna give it a clean edge so this is already the edge here is already everything sewed on both sides so exactly the same thing to both sides and now the next step is to actually include here the part that we cut it from the knee jumper so here is the part already with the edges with the zigzag sewing like I told you I was going to do and what I'm going to do is exactly like I did here with the sewing on the neck I'm just going to sew here some inches inside so I can leave this frame here like it's almost like two layers of sweaters as you can see here we have the sewing that i just did on the edge so i'm going to do it like more or less over here like one inch to the left and attach both pieces let's go all right so all the center piece is ready and sewed together so all there's left to do is the sleeves and my idea for the sleeves is to make them a little bit more oversized so if you fold them in half like this which makes just the regular sleeve i want to add some fabric from the sweatshirt here so i can create a bigger oversized sleeve so this is basically how i want the sleeves to look like and all there is left to do is to correct here this piece that um, it's it has this V shape that we don't need we definitely need to keep this curve going on because this will be like the shoulder sewing and then we need to sew them together right here so what I'm going to do is just to continue here this curve and it's a little bit by just looking at it I'm not doing much calculations here but I just want to make the curve look more natural here you have the two fabrics i'm just going to put them together like this and sew them on the inside so when i flip them over they just appear together like this without the swing showing so what i'm going to do leaves are here ready to be sewed into the centerpiece of the sweater jumper I don't even know how to call this right now because it's such a combo so I'm gonna call it the sweater combo and I'm gonna sew now the sleeves into the centerpiece also going to sew it just like I sewed these parts of the sleeves so I'm gonna sew it backwards and then flip it around yeah I can't believe I just finished this entire project right now is kind of a, I would say like a medium to hard in terms of difficulty of do-it-yourself I usually go towards more easy do-it-yourself it's not that this one is hard in terms of sewing but the thing is, is a lot of different panels and it's a big sweater so it's a little bit hard to go to the sewing machine and it's a little bit heavy but I believe it's going to be one of my best do-it-yourselves uh, at least while I'm doing it, I'm already seeing how much I love this piece so I'm just going to see it at the same time as you do I have it all upside down right now so I'm going to just put it together and see the final result I just can't wait to try this sweater oh my gosh, how pretty I'm so in love with this piece, can you see it all? it's so baggy and oversized I love the color so much and the sleeves are so baggy I'm really happy with it really really happy and if you wanna do something like this you can follow this tutorial and please show me your pieces because I love to see your recreations now it's time for me to show you how this looks on it for this do-it-yourself 
one of probably like the hardest that I made in terms of hard work and heaviness of the piece and all the panels and creativity wise because I started this without knowing exactly where this was going this is actually my fave do it yourself from all the do it yourself that I've done and I'm really happy with it let me know down below in the comments if you like it and if you try it out don't forget to tag me on Instagram whatever I always like to share on my stories your creations when you follow my do it yourselves and this one in particular it's very creative so you can go crazy different colors different types of knitwear and sweatshirts hoodies just go with it and don't forget to tag me I'm really excited to see what you can come up with using this do-it-yourself so yeah don't forget to subscribe to this channel all my platforms social platforms are down below Instagram TikTok and Depop in case you want to buy some of my closet and also sometimes I sell some of my do-it-yourself in there this one i can't guarantee because i love it so much so i i might not sell it but i might do something similar and sell it just keep an eye on my depop and yeah that's it thank you so so much for watching love you guys see you next week